Yes, next numerical from my university question paper. For the network shown, find B1 divided by I1 and B2 divided by I1 and plot the poles and zeros of B2 divided by I1. So this is a circuit given. Okay, this is a circuit given. The circuit is given in the time domain. So for our simplification, we need to convert it into a frequency domain. So L is replaced by LS. Okay, inductor is replaced by, inductor in time domain is replaced by L into S in frequency domain. And capacitor in time domain can be replaced by 1 by Cs in the frequency domain. So this you need to remember. So in this case, what we have done is we have uh, replaced 1 Henry as S, 2 Henry as 2S. Okay, so this is 2S. And half farad as 1 by half S, that is, will be 2 by S. Okay, and one by uh, and one farad is replaced by one by s. Okay, so the incoming current I one. Okay, I one and this is the voltage V two across output terminals and V one across input terminals. So what we will do is we will may name the nodes as B this point and we will note the name, node as, uh, name the node as A at this point for our simplification. So by, from the circuit, what is the node voltage VB? VB is equal to V2. Okay, let us call this as one. So this is the voltage VB. So VB is at this point with respect to ground. Okay, so this VB is equal to V2. Next, so let us call this as one. Then the current I2. Okay, so where is the current I2? Current I2. Okay, the current I2 is here. Current I2 is what? Current I2 is VB divided by 2 by S. So let me write this as current I2. Okay, so this current which is flowing through this, the current which is flowing through this capacitor, we are going to calculate. So the current which is flowing through this capacitor is given as the voltage, which is VB across this terminal divided by the capacitor value that is 2 by S. So it is VB divided by 2 by S will give me the value of I2, which is S into V2 divided by 2. So let us call this as equation number 2. Now what is the value of VA? VA is the voltage across these two terminals. We can calculate either from this, okay, or we can calculate from this. Since we don't know the current flowing through this, okay, but we know the value of I2, it is a current flowing through this, we will consider this part of the circuit to calculate the value of V. So VA is given as 2S into I2, that is the current multiplied by this 2s inductor value plus v. Okay. So we will substitute the value of I2 here. So I2 value is substituted as S by 2 and it is simplified. So VA we get S square plus 1 into to call this as equation number 3. Now we have calculated the value of VA. Now we will calculate what is the value of I1. I1 is dividing between the two branches, that is I2 and this branch, okay? So this branch is getting divided. So incoming current is I1, which is equal to outgoing current at this point and outgoing current I2 at this point. So I2 I will write as it is, and this is what, this current is what, the branch current at this point is VA divided by one by S, okay? So here we will substitute the value of I2 and we will simplify and we will substitute the value of VA also. And we will simplify. When we simplify, we get I1 is equal to 2S square S Q plus 3S divided by 2 into, call this as equation number 4. 
Now we need to calculate what is the value of V1. Okay. So this V1 we need to calculate. So this V1 is what? By applying the KCL in this loop. So V1 is equal to S into I1 at this point. Okay. S into I1 plus VA. Okay. Plus VA. VA is which across these two terminals. So we get this by applying the KCL. Next. Substituting the value of I1, which we have just calculated, it is from the equation number 4, and VA from the equation number 3, substitute, okay, and simplifying it, we get V1 as 2S raised to 4 plus 3S square plus 2S square plus 2 divided by 2 into V2, okay. So, this will be total V2S uh, square, 2S raised to 4 plus 5S square plus 2 divided by 2 into V2. So in the question, they have asked V1 divided by I1, V2 divided by I2, sorry, I1. Okay, and they have asked to plot the values of V2 and V2 divided by I1. So let's, let us first calculate this, V1 divided by I1. So V1 is given as, this we have just calculated. Okay. From here, I'm substituting from here. And I1 is from the equation number 4. Just simplifying it, we get 2s raised to 4. 5s square plus 2 divided by s into 2s square plus. So this is V1 by I1. That is first result. Next, V2 by I1. Okay, V2. V2 is the same. Okay, V2. And I1, you write. Okay, V2, V2 gets cancelled. So V2 divided by I1 is 2 divided by s into 2s square plus 3. Okay, so they have asked you to calculate V2 by I1 in the uh, whole set zeros plot we need to show V2 divided by I1. So for that, V2 by I1. So in the numerator, there are, we indicate it as poles. Uh, sorry, in the numerator, we indicate it as zeros and in the denominator, we indicate it as poles. Okay, so numerator, there is a no S term here. So the zeros, does not exist. And in the denominator, there is a S term, so the poles exist. Okay. So S into 2S square plus 3. So if I equate it to 0, S will be equal to 0. So the pole is at S is equal to 0, which I have indicated here. And the remaining is S. I calculate from this equation by equating it to 0. So I get plus or minus J under root 6 divided by 2, which is equal to plus or minus J 1.225. Okay, so this value will be plus, okay, one is plus and one is minus. So we indicate poles usually by cross. Okay, so we have indicated it by cross. Poles, so there are three poles here now at zero and at j root of six divided by two and minus j root of six by two. So this completes the numerical. Next, we will go on to the next, we'll go to the next numerical. In the network shown, the switch is, is the switch is changed from position A to B at t is equal to zero. So at t is equal to zero, switch the position is changed from A to B. So before at t is equal to zero minus, it means that the switch was at position A. Okay. So find i di by dt and d square i by dt square at t is equal to zero plus. So this is a circuit given. So at t is equal to zero minus, that means the switch is at the position A. So the this inductor was receiving continuous current. So as a result, so inductor is having, the uh, inductor has achieved a steady state condition and it is having some current which is flowing through it. Okay. So to find that, so the circuit can be written with the switch position at the position A. So this is the circuit. So inductor is short circuit. It is replaced because the current is flowing as it is attained the steady state condition. So this current is indicated as I of zero minus. So this current is given by voltage divided by the resistance value. So we get to be as 0.1 amps. And 
this voltage across capacitor is zero as the switch is not connected to position. So the capacitor voltage as T is equal to zero minus is zero. Next second case at T is equal to zero plus that the switch is just moved to the position B from A. So as soon as it is moved from A to B, the capacitor will not start working. Okay, instantaneously it will not start working. And the inductor is also having some current. Okay, so the inductor acts as a current source for this circuit when it is at the position B. So that current source is having 0.1 amps current. And the capacitor acts as a short circuit because it will instantaneously, it will not change the value. Okay, it will not start charging. So the capacitor voltage is still zero here. Okay, so it is replaced by short circuit. So this is shown here. So at instant, that is just, it has closed from, uh, just it has switched from A to B. The capacitor will not start charging. So it, it is, capacitor voltage is zero and the inductor acts as a current source. Okay, since we have taken the direction to be clockwise, so the clockwise current direction is indicated and this current is I of zero plus. So I of zero plus will be equal to I of zero minus itself, it is 0.1 amps and VC of zero plus is equal to zero because the capacitor will oppose instant, instant change in the value of voltage. Now for third case for T greater than zero. Okay, so for T greater than zero, the capacitor will start acting as a capacitor now. So now the circuit will be this capacitor, one kilo ohm, and there is a inductor along with initial value of the current, which is 0.1 amps. So this is indicated in parallel. So applying the KVL, so this is the KVL capacitor voltage is given by this capacitor voltage 1 by C integration 0 to T I of T into DT minus 1000 I of T which is this part of the voltage and here there is a L into D I by DT which is written here okay so at T is equal to 0 plus substitute the value of T as 0 plus so when you substitute at t is equal to zero plus the uh, at the, in this equation one, so what do you get? Okay. So at t is equal to zero plus, so you can substitute. It. So this in uh, this value will be equal to zero as the ca capacitor will have a zero value as soon as it is switched from a to b position of the switch, and this is i of zero plus we have substituted, and this is di of zero plus by dt. So the I of zero plus here it is 0.1 amps. Okay, so we will substitute as 0.1 amps and we will calculate the value of the I of zero plus by dt. Okay, so we get this to be as minus 100 amps per second. Now differentiate, differentiating equation number one with respect to t in order to get d square I by dt square. Okay, so if I differentiate this, if I differentiate this, I get I of t. If I differentiate this, I get di of dt. Okay, so 1000 will remain here, same. And here microfarad 0.1 into 10 raised to minus six is written as 10 raised to minus seven here. And this part is d square i by dt. Now again, substituting t is equal to zero plus in this equation. So here t is equal to zero plus is substituted. We know the value of this at I of zero plus we know that we need to substitute the I of zero plus by dt we have just calculated this minus 100 so that will substitute and the only variable is d square i by dt square so from this equation when we calculate it will be around 9 into 10 raised to 5 amps per second square so this completes the number.